Hello, Carlita. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, welcome. It is a pleasure to have you here in another week of class. Okay, let me see. Oh my God, my internet. Okay, Carlita, have you had any problem with the platform? No? No, teacher. Okay, I was checking and you have been advancing normal on your platform. It's because today I was checking on the different, on the different grades, the different advancements as we are closing the second week today. It is something that I always like to do to see what are you right now, how much have you advanced, and if you are missing something, right? So you can have your your grades complete, right? And the idea of the platform is that you complete everything with with a hundred percent, right? If you have any issue, you can correct beforehand so you have a a complete score at the end. But let me see. In your case, you got 96 on the first one and 100 in the second one. Did you leave any exercise like with with without 100%? Le quedó alguno con, con, con menos de 100%, Carlita. Creo que sí, no me recuerdo cuál fue. Ah, es que a veces eso es lo que le dan los, los puntitos de Ajá. 96, creo 92. 98, creo, 98. Ajá, so maybe we can check it today. So you can have it in 100 and it is not going to be affecting you. Yeah. Okay. At the end. Because that is like the, the best part is that you complete everything with 100% so you don't have any issue uh, later on. Right. And you can have 100 as a grade, right? Y en el diploma le salga que lo pasó con el 100%. So that is like one of the, the things that we are going to be checking on today. I always like to check at the end of the weeks of work. I really like to check on the exercises to go on the platform to do it together. So we can actually see if we are having, if we are having any difficulties. Hello, Juan Francisco. He says that he's here at work, it says. Okay, Juan Francisco, did you check the message that I sent about the platform, Juan? Just let me know. Okay, hello, Magdiel. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you feeling? I'm better. <laughs> that is good, right? <laughs> you survive, you survive. That yes. is the best part. Yes, not completely, but... It's better. Yes, it, it, after after these these flu sessions, you are like ah, with coughing or with the runny nose or things. So, but yeah, it, it is nothing compared to the worst days of. That flu, is a right? problem when the nose is is ta -ta <laughs> It's uh, when you, you when you have a, a how do you call this? This is called a, a, uh, well, it, well, when you have like runny nose, it's when you have a lot of flu, right? Mm -hmm. But when you have a lot of congestion, that it's all blocked, it is very uncomfortable. How do you say mocos in English? <laughs> okay, so you, you have, I will, where is the chat? I, I am going to send it there on the chat <laughs> so that you have a snuts, 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 or um. The the good name about this, I mean the, the the name in general, it's when you have runny nose. Okay. 
Runny nose es que tienes mucho fluido en la nariz. Yeah. So that's runny nose. Hello, Mr. Rafael. Everything okay with the inventory? Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello. everyone. Did you finish the inventory? Uh, yeah, but the Friday, uh, we, we uh, inventory again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. We, we will invent the inventory. <laughs> uh, the inventory we, uh, in, in the company is two Fridays and one Saturday. My goodness. Well, yes. I imagine with all the products that you might have, it is yeah. pretty, pretty complicated. Well, but I know you're going to do a very good job. You will survive, you will see. <laughs> Okay, okay, so welcome to all my, my dear students, my participants. We are 14 now. That's pretty awesome. Well, welcome to your class number 10. Today we are going to be working on uh, the end of unit number two. We are going to practice a little bit about simple present, right? We're going to finish your agendas of uh, activities. And I can see that many of you are feeling better now. Yeah, no me los doblo más la gripe that's pretty awesome so if you are here it's because you are feeling a lot better i can see the cameras only of carlita magdiel jose luis rafael aleida nelson and i cannot see the rest and i can see hernan now very good i am missing the rest so please help me with that because that is part of our a class and that is part of our agreements to have our cameras on all the time. So today it's a day full of work, a lot of practice. We're going to be checking on, on the platform as well for you to see the exercises that uh, we are supposed to be covering for these days. And as today we finish unit number two, right? We are supposed to be finished unit uh, section number two as well in the platform. So that is why I was letting you know today that some of you are still missing some things from uh, section one, because the idea of this is that you finish your exercises with 100%, right? So, uh, If you have any question today, I am going to help Aleida with, with that one. Now you have 92, Aleida. <laughs> It is just one, one exercise, the one that is missing. Yes, I know, teacher, but I think it's already done because the point is that I cannot, no, I couldn't um, work in, on my computer. And I always uh. made the exercises and the homeworks Uh, or my telephone. The thing is that finally <laughs> I could connect to my uh, computer and in the first exercise I have um, a mistake for a letter P only uh -huh. for that. And in the last one <laughs> I had another and uh, oh my God, for these simple things it was wrong everything. <laughs> But the yeah. thing is, it's done It now. is done. Okay, yeah. Yes. We are going to see it, don't worry. It okay. happens, right? It happens that only one period, one letter, one little thing makes a big difference at the moment of actually checking the exercises. So today we are going to be working on that. We are going to do the practice for simple present. And for sure, we are going to check on the midterm exams that are the ones on section two. Cuando finalicemos la sección 2, la sección 2 también conlleva los exámenes de midterm, que son como ejercicios un poquito eh, de las dos unidades. So we are going to check everything in eh, for sure. When we finish, eh, you will have the time to actually eh, update all that, okay? So all the, the exercises from section number one were already complete, right? So we did all these ones before. 
and for the ones that I sent on the chat, okay, envié unos nombrecitos al chat, que son los que ya los, en, los han estado completando. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando yo llene sus notas, para que todas sus notas les queden al 100%. Eso estábamos platicando con Carlita al principio, de que la idea es que ustedes pues pasen su, su módulo con un 100% en las notas. Because that's the purpose of all this. Well, so welcome everybody to our class number 10. It is so like, my God, time is just flying. We are in the middle of this. Imagínense, vamos ya a la mitad del curso. Estamos como, ok, el tiempo se nos ha ido, pero volando. So we are in the, in, in the end of week number two. And for sure, we are missing two more weeks to go. And, uh, but we want to have everything organized and complete. So today is our class number 10. Let's remember our agreements. I am going to ask my dear Andrea Sofia and let me see, and Jasmine to help me to read them. Okay, Andrea, help me to read number one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, I am going to ask Jasmine to read the next ones. Okay, go ahead. Okay, practice your English as much as possible. Very good. Ask for help when needed. Good. Keep your cameras on all the time. Good. Uh, keep my microphones off if we are not using them. Very good. E attend all your sessions on, on time. Very good job. Uh, Jasmine, please read the next ones. Number six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, <clears throat> participate as much as possible. Can't add cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group uh -huh. or on the um, platform. Platform every day work on your platform every day okay so you say participate as much as possible keep a cooperative attitude during class collaborate with your friends on the whatsapp group and work on the platform every day right those are our agreements for the class i am going to call the attendance my dear students so we can check all the exercises without stopping uh, on this one and for sure uh, we can have it covered. So welcome to all the ones that have just joined. Okay, welcome to all the ones that are joining our class right now. I am going to call your names. Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Okay, today is Monday the 14th. Aleida Esmeralda. Present teacher. Andrea Sofia. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Cesar Amaya. Eh, Ellen Nilsson. Present teacher. Eric José. Hernán Antonio. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Horacio Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, ok. Juan Francisco, present. Ya llamando en el chat. Ya. José Luis. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Juan Francisco, it's in the chat. Good. Carla Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. José Luis, ya tuvimos el one on one con usted. No. Oh, no, ok, es que entonces le tocaría a usted este día. Nos quedamos unos minutitos, unos 5 o 10 minutitos al final de la clase. Okay? ok. It will be something very short. Ok. Nelson Alberto. I'm here. Thank you. <coughs> eh, Paola Elena. Good evening. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. 
Raúl Ernesto. Raúl. Raúlito no ha venido, miren. Ha de andar en fiesta otra. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Jasmine Elizabeth. Present teacher. En McBiel. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, so today it's going to be for Jose Luis, the one-on-one. -on -one. Tomorrow will be for uh, Juan Francisco. Uh, on Wednesday for Carla Guadalupe. On Thursday for Nelson. And on Friday for Paola Elena. Okay, that would be the order of the one-on-one -on -one meetings. Okay, así ya quedan avisados todos. Ahora va Jose Luis. Eh, mañana Juan Francisco, el miércoles Carla Guadalupe, el jueves Nelson y el viernes Paola. Okay, that would be the order that we are going to be attending. If you have a specific questions, if not, I have many questions for you, don't worry. I am the one asking a lot of questions in the one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so let's work. Let's work on uh, the exercises that I was mentioning here. We are going to go on the platform. But first of all, first of all, tell me, how was your weekend? Did you like it? Did you go to see the arbolito? What did you do? ¿Qué tal pasaron su fin de semana? How was it? A ver, los enfermos ya están bien. I was sick. I was sick. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Four of them. Ajá, uh -huh. pero practicaron el tongue twister. No, you couldn't. <laughs> ah, oh, ah, ah, I forgot it. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I am going to give you the chance because you survived. You were sick on Friday. A ver, ya fueron al arbolito. ¿Quién ya fue al arbolito? Eh? <laughs> that is, you know, uh, it is curious because now that thing in Salvador del Mundo is part of the culture of El Salvador now. Now it is part of our culture. It is like, it's like the, I don't know, like the Centro Histórico or something like that. Now every December, that is a cultural spot for Salvadorians, right? It is a must be, right? Mucha gente dice que, no, que no sé qué, pero eso ya es como parte de nuestras tradiciones. In the future, imagine you are going to say, I, I remember when there was the arbolito there in Salvador del Mundo. You are going to tell that to your, to your grandchildren. Cuando yo estaba así, pote, fíjate, ponía un arbolito en Salvador del Mundo. <laughs> and then you are going to share. That is part of our traditions now. That is part of our, of our culture. It was totally full of people on Saturday. It was so horrible. Full of people everywhere right i i closed the place where i work at 4 p.m and it was full of people at 4 p.m and i was like you and i just escaped in a different street it was it was full full and crowded okay but tell me how was your weekend all the sick ones are good so mcbiel was sick and nelson you were not sick anymore during the weekend no, teacher. Everything was nice. <clears throat> yes. Carlos Eduardo. Uh, I was sick, but I took a pill. And I rest all weekend. I sleep. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so nice. <laughs> so you slept during the whole weekend. That's so fantastic. <laughs> Okay, very good. Well, so Ellen Nilsson is not working today. That is something good. He is at home. Were you working on the weekend, Ellen Nilsson? Yeah, I was working. Uh, and, uh, you know, I was asleep every single day. <laughs> so, <laughs> no big deal. That's so nice, but you are here. That's so beautiful that yeah. you have the chance to be at home today. Okay, very nice. So Horacio, are you feeling better now? Uh, 
Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good, uh, good evening. evening. Are you feeling <laughs> better now? ¿Ya se siente mejor? Sí. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, poor Horacio on Friday was very sí. <laughs> I'm better. Yeah, that's so nice that you that you survived. You did it. Well, so I am glad that most of you are fine and most of you had a very good weekend. Well, in the section of the homework that we are uh, having for section number two, right? It is uh, curious that you say like, teacher, but why do you have uh, the same uh, video in the different conferences? It is because this one is updated according to the classes that we are having, okay? Si se fijaron al principio, toda la plataforma tenía el mismo video. Y ustedes dicen, pero ¿por qué tiene el mismo video la plataforma? La plataforma se va actualizando con las clases que vamos teniendo. Así que toda la sección 1 ya está llena de sus clases. La sección 2, pues ya se va a llenar también ahora con la última clase. Se llena la sección. So, in the first homework. In this one, we have to complete the exercise with simple present. Do you remember about this exercise? Who can help me with this one? My boss, his office every day. So you say, my boss is a third person, he. So what type of verb do you use in this type of sentence? Cleans. Cleans. ¿Por qué no podemos ocupar cleaning? Porque es el presente. Because it's not present continuous. Because the sentence is not in present continuous. What is present continuous, people? ¿Qué es el presente continuo? When we talk to an action that is happens and now. Ah, that it's happening at the moment, right? It's an action that is taking place at the moment. And something very curious that you use with present continuous. Yes, uh, the ING. Uh -huh, you use the ING. But yes. there is something very characteristic that you use with present continuous. Que es algo característico que lleva una oración con present continuous. Que esta no tiene. The ING. The verb to be. The verb to be. Ting, ting, ting. Very good job, Estrellita, para ti. Very good. <laughs> the verb to be. So if you say, my boss is a space, his office. My boss is cleaning his office, right? Because the verb to be, it's always accompanied by the, the sorry, the present continuous is always accompanied by the verb to be before it right i am doing i am cleaning he is working she is cooking right they are dancing so you need the verb to be before but in this case it's a regular action right because it says every day right you have um a time expression right my boss cleans his office every day it is an action that takes place every single day es una acción repetitiva de eh, de su diario vivir, right? My boss cleans his office every day. What about this one? ¿Cuál es la time expression que tenemos en esta segunda frase? What will be the time expression for number two? From two? Ajá, uh -huh. from Monday? From Monday to Friday. From Friday. Monday to Friday. Esa es nuestra time expression, right? From Monday to Friday. And it says, I work. I work. I work, right? Because the S in works is only for he, she, and it, right? I work from Monday to Friday. It means that every Monday to Friday, I am working. What about the next one? What is the time expression on number three? Uh huh. Every day. Every day, very good job. So you say, my sister, if it is a she, do you use do or does? Doesn't take. Doesn't take, right? My sister doesn't take a shower every day. Ooh, right? Sister, come on, right? Bueno, los hermanos siempre van a decir algo malo del otro, right? 
que sos adoptado, que te hayamos tirado, que no te bañas, que no sé qué. Brothers and sisters are always saying the same thing, right? I, I always tell that to my, to my brother and he always says that, right? Mi, mi hermano le dice a mi mamá, decile, decile mamá que le encontramos botada en un callejón. Y yo le digo, mamá, decile que es adoptado. And it's curious because he's brunette and I am very white, right? Él es morenito y yo soy, pues yo soy blanca. Y a la par nos vemos como que somos lucita los dos. <laughs> so that's why we are always saying that. So my sister doesn't take a shower every day. Poor sister, right? What about number four? What is the time expression that we have for number four? At 4 a.m. At 4 a.m., right? The bus. ¿Qué pronombre sería the bus? Leave. Third person. Uh -huh. It would be a third person, but what pronoun? ¿Qué pronombre sería? He, she. It. It, right? Very good. The bus leaves, leaves, leaves. the station at 4 a.m. Very good. Do we have a time expression in number five? No. no, right? We don't have. It's a general sentence, right? And it says, I, I doesn't or I no. Don't. I don't, right? I don't like playing soccer. Is there anyone here that doesn't like playing soccer? All of you like playing soccer. Rafael, you don't like playing soccer. Sure. You don't like it, Jose Luis? No, that's what name. Nelson. I don't have time to do it. I don't have time to. I don't have the, the time, neither the ability. Nor the time, neither the ability. Yeah, I can cheer you up like, yeah. But no, I am bad at playing. Uh -huh. Let's see, Magdiel, do you play soccer? Or do you like yes. to play soccer? Nelson? Yes, soccer. I like it. You like it. Cesar, do you like to play soccer? I, I cannot listen to you, Cesar. Salvado por el micrófono. Carlos Eduardo, do you like to play soccer? Uh, yes, I like to, to play soccer. And I like to watch the, the, the match as well. Okay, you like to play and to watch. That's good. I don't like either of them, but yeah, I, I, I do my best. Okay, so that is the first exercise. In exercise number two, right? In exercise number two, it is also a multiple choice thing. So it is something easy because you don't have to type anything. And it says, my friends, that is plural, go to a club on Fridays. It's really fun. So they say on Fridays. So it happens constantly. It's really fun. Which time, uh, well, which adverb of frequency goes well with this sentence? My friends usually go to a club in, on Fridays. It's very, really fun. Very good. You say they usually do it because they say it's really fun. So it means that they it's a constant activity. Rarely and never mean that they don't do it or it doesn't happen, right? So it's not possible. Classes on Sundays. I have classes on Sundays. I never have classes on Sundays. I never, because every day, once a week, son a definite time expressions. I don't even as definite time expressions, people. At the, end of the sentence. at the end of the sentence, right? And in here, the space is after the subject. Very good job, Luis. You remember. It says, I don't mm, drink coffee. So you say, I don't. I don't sometimes drink coffee. 
I don't always drink coffee or I don't usually drink coffee. Which one do you think it's correct? Uh -huh. Always. I don't always drink coffee. Sure. Respuesta definitiva. Yes, I'm sure. Usually. <laughs> okay, le vamos a dejar usually. Ya lo vamos a revisar. I don't always drink coffee. It is possible. It is possible. Birds sing in the morning. Always. Always, right? It's the same example, right? She always is, is always, she always mm. early for classes. She is always early for classes. ¿Por qué no always is? Because the first is the verb uh, to be. Uh -huh. And then uh, the adverb, adverb of frequency. Of frequency. 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 Okay, the adverb of frequency. In this case, you say like, I don't usually drink coffee. ¿Por qué ocupamos usually aquí? Esa es una frase que se ocupa junta cuando se llama I don't usually drink coffee. Es así como que te lo están ofreciendo, lo vas a agarrar esa vez, pero no es algo que tú hagas. ¿Ok? Si decimos, I don't always drink coffee, eh, in this case, always is not the adverb of frequency for you to use after don't. After don't is more commonly used usually. ¿Ok? I don't usually do it. Es así como, no lo hago usualmente, right? But uh, you will try it, right? And for example, if you have here in the morning, is it like, I don't always drink coffee in the morning. That will be a possible sentence, right? But the most common after don't is usually. Okay, so there you have it. If you haven't done the exercises now, you know for you to complete them. They are very, very simple. The third practice that we had for the simple present form in unit number two is a multiple choice as well. You say, Jeff, third person, work or works? Works. 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 Okay. Jose Luis, can you read the complete sentence, please? Okay. Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Very good job. What about the second one? Ellen Nielsen, choose the uh, the answer and read the complete sentence. Uh, the second one, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Jane and Pete clean the tables every day. Okay. Por qué clean? Because Jane and Pete uh, is a pronoun day. Exactly, right? It's plural. It's a plural mm -hmm. form. Okay, Nelson, number three. Read the sentence and give me the answer. Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesday. Uh huh. And tell me why. Because his Mark is a third person. Excellent. Of yeah. singular. It's a third person singular. Very good job. Tell me why. Very good. It's a third person singular. Number four, Magdiel. Can you read the sentence, please, and give me the answer? Your restaurant. Our restaurant. Our hey, restaurant, <laughs> a restaurant open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Is it correct? Open? No. Why? Because uh, she, because the restaurant is uh, it exactly third right? person our restaurant it means the the building right our restaurant opens from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. and the last one number five Rafael Alexander can you help me with this one our bus spends much time in the restaurant why. Because is is he 
or a, she uh -huh. is a third person. It's a third person. Very good job. That is the answer, right? Very good job. So that's it, right? Siempre, yo siempre me gusta como que usted diga, no solo digan, ah, ve, ajá, pero ¿por qué? Analicémoslo. No solo, ay, ay yo escogí estas, teacher. Las respuestas A, B, C, D. No. Why? Why are you choosing that? What is the reason of this one? Here we have uh, the homework number nine. It's another multiple choice. And uh, we're going to ask uh, Blanca to help me with number one. It, it is rain a lot in Britain. It is rain a lot in Britain. Mm. Or it rains. It rains, right? Because that's the main verb, right? It rains a lot in Britain. Ese es un general fact, right? Para los... Eh, casos de, de cuestiones que suceden, que son como por eh, información general, it rains a lot in Britain, right? So yes. It is simple present, third person. Number two, Paola, can you help me with this one? I like pizza very much. I like pizza very much, right? Why like? Because uh, it's first person. It's a first person. Very good job. Number three, I lay down. I don't speak English very well. Why? Because it's in the first person. It's in first person, right? I don't speak English very well. It is common when people are learning or when they don't know anything. You say, I no, no, no speak, no speak. <laughs> No speak English, you say. Yeah, yo tenía una amiga de, de Tailandia, que yo tenía otro amigo que hablábamos español los dos, y ella de Tailandia, pues no habla español. Entonces cuando hablábamos español los dos nos decía, no latín, no latín. <laughs> For to, I mean, to tell us not to speak Spanish, right? But she say, no latín, no latín. And I said like, this is not Latin, it's Spanish. <laughs> And number four, uh, let's see, I'm going to ask, let me see, Carlita, number four. My sister doesn't go the, to the cinema very often, often. Very good, and why doesn't? Um, Ay, teacher, ahí sí no sé. <laughs> Because, ¿qué, ¿qué pronombre sería my sister? Es que yo siempre me confundo con primera persona, tercera persona, porque siempre he tenido problemas en lenguaje. Y a mí el no lenguaje worry. no me entra. <laughs> ok, primera persona, uh -huh. yo. Segunda uh -huh. persona, tú. Tercera persona, él, ella. Ok. So that's the difference. En el plural, we and they. So, my sister, it's a, a third person, she. He or she, okay, that's why. And with she, you use doesn't. Okay. But it's, it's good, Carla. Aquí todos estamos aprendiendo. Don't worry. Andrea Sofia, number five. Okay. They always uh, are watch TV in the evening. They always are watch. They always are watch. TV in the evening. Ok, ¿cómo diría esta oración si le ponemos our watch? Ellos siempre están ver TV in the evening. Ellos siempre ven televisión Ajá. por las tardes. So, Ellos ven televisión por las tardes. Ajá, uh -huh. but what is the verb then? In the watch. watch. Watch, right? They always watch. Vamos con el verbo completo. So the main verb uh -huh. here is watch. They watch. always watch TV in the evening. If we use this one, say, ellos siempre ven TV en la tarde. Very good job. So that is the reason. And that is exercise number three. You see, if you haven't completed this section, it is just a matter of choosing the correct answers. For this one, number 10, everyone, 
can open the microphone and tell me the answer. It. Aquí todos pueden contestar. Abran su micrófono y digamos la respuesta. It is. It is a beautiful, a beautiful day, day today. today. Day today. Very good. Number two. Sorry, Lisa. Yes. Sorry, it's Lisa. Not it's not here, here at, at the, the moment. moment. Lisa is not here at the moment. Very good. Number three. They are not here. They are, they are on they holiday are right with, now. They, they are, are on holiday right, right now. Very no. good job. They are not here. They are on holiday right now. Okay. Because in this one, say they go to school right now. They swim at the beach right now. It's like, no, they are on holiday. Porque no están aquí. Robert. Does not go to my school. My school. Robert does not go to my school. And the last one, my parents. My parents, my parents live in a, in a two bedroom apartment. apartment. Very good job. My parents live. Parents. My parents. My parents. parents. In and it is not live, okay? Aquí no dice my parents live. Live es cuando estamos en vivo. Okay. My parents live in a two bedroom apartment. Very good job. Okay. So this. Section 2 was pretty easy. It was just a matter of choosing. Yo creo que la estresante fue la donde tenían que escribir un montón. So these were the exercises in section 2. Along with these ones, you have the exercises on uh, the midterm that are very similar to the ones that we just did. Okay? Los exámenes de midterm tienen ejercicios reciclados de las, de las otras partes. Pero si no les pusimos mucha atención, vamos a decir, ¿y aquí cuál era? ¿Cuál iba? Right? So, we did this ones already. Eso ya los hicimos. So, it's a matter of completing only. My boss, ¿cuál fue la que escogimos en esta? Cleans. Cleans. The next one, I? Work. I work. From Monday to Friday. Ajá, my sister. Doesn't take a shower every day. Birds. Always. always, right? Always. She is always. Always. always, always, right? It's always early for classes. This was the review of the previous exercise. Part number two, and it says, I can. I can. I can. I can. Two languages. This is abilities, right? Yeah. Remember when we study can and can't, right? I can speak two languages russian and russian. english my sister can't can. 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 i fast she's fast. very she's slow. slow as a turco <laughs> yeah only with two fingers like me <laughs> my sister can't Pica pollo. <laughs> yeah yeah Yo me arrepiento de no haber aprendido en mecanografía. my sister can't type very fast Ah, pero pónganse, imagínense que su amiga le dice, amiga, te tengo un chambre. <risa> ¿Sí, Ahí hasta los dos dedos se hacen cinco, ¿verdad? Right? <risa> De verdad, amiga. And then you start typing, right? I have been your friend. Since. Since. Very good. I have been your friend since 2016. I have been your friend since October 31st. Oh. I live in San Salvador mm -hmm. in 2005. 2005. 2005. I lived in San Salvador in 2005. I am working at Credit Bank. At Credit Bank, right? At City Bank, I was going to say. I am working at because you are, we are talking about a place, right? I'm working at Credit Bank. And there you go. That was the practice for can, can't, and since. We just did this one. Este lo acabamos de hacer. It rains. It wow. rains a lot. Rains, rains? no, rains, rains. I, like, like. I like, like pizza very much. Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes, I think I everybody, pizza. everybody loves pizza, right? It's so good. Everybody loves pizza. <laughs> I don't know. What this is. I 
don't speak. Don't speak. Wow. I don't speak, right? I don't speak. <laughs> My sister. Don't go. Doesn't, doesn't go. go. Doesn't go. Doesn't doesn't go. go. Very often. Very often. My sister doesn't go. They are, they always watch. Watch. TV watch. The TV in the evening. In the evening. Very good. And in this one, we have. <laughs> Creo que me estoy echando el chambre a media, así como que me lo cortan <laughs> cada vez que apagan el micrófono. <laughs> the next one. It's part of a job <laughs> application. Telephone okay. number. A telephone <laughs> number, right? Do you do you put your Facebook account in your job application? Never. <laughs> Never. But. People yeah. now, and that, that is something that happens now, that uh, all the people from human resources go to your profiles on Facebook. So you have to be very careful, right? Yo tengo una amiga que, que trabaja en recursos humanos y me dice, eso es lo primero que se ve del, del candidato. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I put memes there. I said, memes de gato llorando. <laughs> no la contraten. <laughs> it is part of your employment history name of the name company, of, of the, the, company. company. <clears throat> the name of the company right your date of birth or the name of your last relationships <laughs> ah, la última novia que tuve se llamaba Mari fíjese teacher <laughs> no in the cv right <laughs> it is mandatory to write in an application form sí. The signature, right? The signature. Your blood type. Ay, yo soy apositivo. The friends? No, right? And this one is the only exercise on which you are going to write something. And we did it before. What was this one? Great study will be a broad it opportunity to an A. Ah. We did this one in el primer ejercicio. It will be a great, it will be uh -huh. a great opportunity, a great opportunity, to, opportunity study to study abroad. Abroad. It will be a great opportunity abroad. to study abroad and the last one, it says our beneficial employees could be a training for. You have the starting point. A training could be uh -huh. beneficial, beneficial for all employees. A training could be beneficial. It could be beneficial for, for our, all employees. For our employees. A training could be beneficial for our employees. Ah, let's see. Good, very good. <laughs> it was correct. So uh, that's it. That was our midterm tests. Si se fijan, pues no están, no están nada complicados. Por si no los han terminado, ya vieron que están totalmente sencillos. Just to choose. And so you can have complete your section number one, two, and midterm exams. Okay. That was our part, our first two sections. Was it complicated? Difícil? Complicado? No, it is a no, matter teacher. of analysis. Good, very good. So you see, you are going to make it and you're going to do it. You are not going to complicate that much. Creo que la, la sección uno fue la, la que era más complicada de todos. Well, so I have had, uh, we have gone over the exercises and if you have any further question about it, let me know. Muchos de ustedes ya terminaron igual la sección 2. So, thank you very much for that. Well, my dear students, I have here a sentence. What is the sentence that I have here? Can you tell me? 
What is the sentence that is hidden here? What do you what do, you do, do, on, do Saturday? on Saturday? Huh. What do you do on Saturdays? What do you do on Saturdays? Let's see. I am going to ask Hernan. Hernan, what do you do on Saturdays? Um, I work um, after I work on um, afternoon. Are you work in the morning and in the afternoon? Trabajas en la mañana y en la yeah. tarde? On Saturday. Yes, trabajé. Ah, ok. But normally, normalmente todos los sábados trabajas en la mañana y en la tarde? Eh, eh, cuando se acerca el fin de año, sí. Ok. On the season. Mm -hmm. On the season. You right. work. Ok, good. César, what do you do on Saturdays? Okay. Thank you, Hernán. Okay. César, todavía no te oigo. No, no work on Saturday. Ah, you don't work on Saturday. Ay, how nice. So, what do you do on Saturday? Entonces, ¿qué, qué es lo que haces los sábados? Uh, sleep. <laughs> I love well. your life, people. Watch TV, sleep. <laughs> sleep and watch TV. That's so fantastic. My God. La envidia ha entrado al grupo por tercera vez en una semana. <laughs> yeah. I, I sometimes try to sleep, try to sleep. And then I see my kid. It's like, Mom, are you sleeping? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> y este niño lleva el hachis en mí. <laughs> ¿A alguien se le salió un niño? Ah, no, si es mío, aquí vive. Yeah, so what do you do on Saturdays? I work. Paola, do you work on Saturdays? No, I don't work on Saturday. You don't work on Saturdays. No. What about you, Jasmine? Miss Jasmine, do you work on Saturdays? Perdimos a Yasmin. Maybe she's getting the pupusas. Andrea, Sofía, do you work on Saturdays? Mm. I, I work in the morning and the afternoon sleep. <laughs> sleep, sleep. You <laughs> sleep in the afternoon. That's so nice. Yes. Let's see. What about the next sentence? What do you have in the next sentence? Uh -huh. What is this one? Do you... Uh -huh. Do you sleep what? Do you sleep before? Uh huh. Do you sleep before? 12 a.m. <laughs> Very good. Do you sleep before 12 a.m.? Yes, I go yes, to sleep before 12 a.m. Febrero, le iba a decir yo. <laughs> Bebe. ¿Cómo? Do you sleep febrero? Do you sleep febrero 21? El, 20, el, 20, el 21 de febrero. Sí, dormí el 21 de febrero. Do you sleep before 12 a.m.? Only, uh, who was, uh, I think it was uh, Rafael Alexander, the one who goes to bed at 2 in the morning. ¿Quién era el que se acostaba a las 2 de la mañana? Rafael, wow. right? At one. <laughs> At one in the morning. 
So uh, sometimes I sleep before 12, 12 p.m. 12 a.m. 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 Sorry. 12 a.m. Who goes to sleep after 12? ¿Quién se duerme después de las 12? Who goes to sleep after? Because before it's antes. And after is después de. Who goes to sleep after 12? No one? Ah, muy bien, muy bien. Todo después de clase ya. Tacita de leche y a dormir. <laughs> so you go to sleep before 12. Please, people, go to sleep early. If not, the next day we are all down. The last one. Do you hate? What do you hate? No. The most. The most. The most. The most. Very good. Ding, 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 ding. What do you hate the most, people? What do you hate the most? And I am going to stop here because that's a question for everybody. Esa pregunta para todos. What do you hate the most? ¿Qué es lo que más odian? What do you hate the most? Wake up early. Wake up early. Wake up early. <laughs> Three people <laughs> hate to wake up early. Which one, Horacio? Allergies. Allergies. Sí. Yes. That's so horrible. Allergies. That you're like, achi, achi, achi. And then you're like scratching a lot. Allergies, waking up early. What else do you hate, people? The traffic in the morning and at night. The traffic. Traffic in the morning and at night. What else? Teacher, how do you say cucaracha in English? Roach. 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 I hate roach. Oh, yes. <laughs> I hate them. Mostly when they fly. Roach. Yeah, más cuando usted dice, ahorita la mato, and it flies to you. <laughs> it, is, it is so horrible. I know I hate them. I hate the roaches. Well, I hate the scorpions more. I, I don't like them. Here in San Salvador, they are not very common. But in Santa Ana, scorpions are very common. In Chalchuapa, they are very famous. I, yeah. It, it, yeah, if, if you ever go to Chalchuapa, I mean, many people say that it's very common to find scorpions in, in, in the house. One day I was just sleeping in, in, in my mother's house and I was just looking at the ceiling, right? Viendo el cielo falso. And I said like, well, what, what's going on, right? What's, what's going on? I was just thinking about the humanity. And then I saw the animal right on top of my head. And I was so panicked that I couldn't move. Como que me iba a brincar encima, así de la nada. But I, I just saw the animal and I just panicked. I freaked out. I couldn't move. So I hate scorpions. So Paola hates the roaches. I hate the scorpions. Do you suffer... Uh, uh... No sé cómo se dice piquete. Yeah, Scorpions. I did. I did. When I was when I was like 10 years old. Yeah, I estaba en una toalla. When I when I finished showering, it was right on my stomach, right? A big scorpion. <laughs> I was like, ah! it was so terrible. <laughs> Reviviendo los traumas de la infancia. I hate which one? You hate, hate what? Tarantulas. A spiders. I, tarantulas. I, I know. I hate them. They are so horrible. Helen Nilsson, what is something that you hate? Wake up early too. Wake up early too. And you know, yeah. I hate waiting. Waiting for people. Cuando te dicen, ya voy en cinco minutos, en cuatro minutos, en tres minutos. And also, teacher, when I go to the hospital. 
Ay. Seguro social. Es horrible. Or to the bank. Número del cliente, uno. En el número de ventanilla, uno. And you are 100, my God. And you are like number 40. Número de cliente. And you have to, to be in wait, yeah. uh, stand up. Yeah, that's so terrible. I hate that. I hate going to do anything of these things. So you see, I am unblocking new things. Ya ven, les estoy desbloqueando nuevas cosas que odio. That's good. I hate the buses. I don't like them. Because they are so crowded and people are so messy and it is so terrible to be on the bus que la gente camina en el centro y nadie se mueve and it is so like ugh, I don't like it and I hate slow people as well I don't know you but I hate slow people what is this thing thank you very much yeah or walking slow, behind someone slow people no, it's low, it's low, it's low. Ah. It's low. <laughs> it's <no> Me too. <laughs> Sorry, it's low. Yeah, que le dice, yo lo voy a hacer. Y empieza. And they are so slow. Or you are walking behind them and they are walking like. And you want to pass and you are like, yeah. Slow people, I hate that. So you no. say when you when you say us tell something and we have and we are like huh? <laughs> very slow and you think no but that, I mean because you are processing you are processing and that's that's okay right but no slow is like uh, slow I mean slow slow ya terminaste no me falta la mitad Ay, no. It is like, mm -mm, no. No, de slow, no. Cuando están procesando, que están trabajando y lo están pensando y todo eso. So that's okay. Pero hay gente que ya no lo tiene que pensar. And it is slow. Y ya lo trajiste. No, voy a ir a traerlo. Ay, cómo. It's like, no. Okay. On the contrary of what you hate, what is something that you really like? Ya me dijeron todo lo que odian. What is something that you really like? Que es algo que de veras les gusta, pero les encanta, les apasiona, lo aman. Ajá. ¿Ah? I like the chicken. Chicken. <laughs> live work early. To, to live work early. I like that. I like coffee. Coffee, good. I love work at home. To work at home. That's so nice. Uh -huh. What is something Weekends that you... Weekends off. Weekends off. Yes. Uh -huh. What is something that you love? Rafael, tell me. I enjoy work in my garden. To work in the garden. Ah, it's so nice. It is so beautiful. Horacio, what is... It's peaceful, definitely. Horacio, what is something that you really love? Watch the football. Watching football, okay. In Watch... special to Real Madrid. Okay, watching Real Madrid. Good. Aquí no vamos a empezar el pleito de... I love the French fries. Yes, they are so nice. I mean, yeah. Yeah, más, más que todo cuando no son propias. They are even better, right? Yeah, las papas fritas son, son buenas, pero son mejores cuando no son suyas. And you say, oh, French fries, give me one. <laughs> they are very delicious. Cesar, what is something that you love? TV, export, football. Ah, okay, football. Jose Luis? Um, I like watching documentals about natural disasters. I don't know why. About that, yeah, don't, yeah, I know, I know. Don't ask me why. I, I, I know, right? Yes, I, I love 
a suspense series, right? Me gustan las series de suspenso, de misterio. The horror movie teacher. Yeah. I, I love all these crazy things. Yeah. So don't ask me, but I like them. I love dancing. I love it. And singing. And yeah. And teaching and reading in English. So I love many things. So it's good, right? It gives me the it gives me the opportunity to meet you a little bit better. Aleida, what is something that you love? I really love to go to the beach. To go to the beach, me too. I love to go to the beach. It's very nice. It's very, very or be beautiful. In, in the mountain. To be in the mountains, Hernan, yes. I love um, dessert. Desserts. Ah, desserts. Yeah. Los postres. Dessert. Ah, dessert. Yeah. For sure. I mean, <laughs> yes, we love dessert. <laughs> I love my dog. Nelson says, "Yeah, I, I love my dog as well." Ah, uh, Ellen Nelson. Huh? He doesn't have to tell me what he loves. You see, he's a smile. <laughs> tells me everything. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. Vi su sonrisa, eso me lo, me lo respondió todo. So that is so nice. It is Hello, so it pupusas. To eat pupus. Yesterday yes. was the national yes. day of the Yesterday pupusas. Yes, it was. Yes. You see, that's another part of our culture, right? That you can talk about. Oh, we have an you international day for the pupusas. You didn't go on the quilter, teacher? No, I didn't. Yesterday, the big, big pupusa. yeah, they they made the biggest the biggest pupusa of. of yes. <laughs> do you see? <laughs> ¿Qué, qué récord mundiales tiene el Salvador? La pupusa más grande del mundo. <laughs> <laughs> Aquí no hay récord de matemáticas. De, bueno, sí tenemos unos que otros campeones, pues, pero tenemos la pupusa más grande del Salvador. Yes. In Olocuilta. ¿Dónde? Ya ve. Imagínese vivir usted en Europa y perderse esas cosas. It's impossible. <laughs> you shouldn't make it, right? Good. So thank you very much, my dear students, for sharing a bit about the things that you love. Well, so now going back to the practice of the simple present, I have here a couple of exercises and a couple of questions. And I have eight here that we are going to do together. And I have eight that you are going to do with a couple. Let's work on the first ones that we have here. So I have eight um, examples. I need eight volunteers to give me the answers. Raise your hand, please, on the platform. Levanten su manita en la plataforma. I need eight people to help me. I have Blanca. Vamos, levanten. Necesito ocho. Aleida. Another one. Magdiel. Tengo tres, cuatro. Ellen Nielsen. I need more Wilbur. Pero, OK, levanteme la manita ahí. OK, Rafael, good. Jose Luis, Cesar, and Wilbur. OK, good. Eh, Blanca, number one. Aleida, number two. Magdiel, number three. Ellen, Ellen Nielsen, number four. Rafael, number five. Jose Luis, number six. Cesar, number seven. And Wilbur, number eight. I My need... brother uh -huh. watches his favorite TV program every evening. Very good job. Number two. I live in a small apartment near the college. Very good. Number three. She speaks three languages. English, French, and Spanish. Very good. She speaks three languages. Number four. My friend has a sister, but he doesn't has a brother. But she doesn't has. Uh, she doesn't has. Es posible ocupar yeah. has después de doesn't. No. Oh, have. Okay. Have. Porque doesn't ya es el auxiliar, ya es el cambio. Entonces cuando ocupamos okay. doesn't, el siguiente verbo es normal. Number five. Yeah. Number five. Is your father a teacher or a policeman? Very good. Is your father a teacher or, or a policeman? Number six. 
My wife and I are from Canada. Where are you from? Very good. Very good. Where are you from? What are you from? My wife and I are from Canada. Where are you from? Good. Number seven. My sister, my sister and I are Susan. She is a doctor. My sister name? As... Has Susan? El nombre de mi hermana tiene Susan? Is it correct? My sister's name? Is. Is. Is, right? Susan, she is a doctor. In number eight. I live in Rio de Janeiro. Where do you live? I live in Rio de Janeiro. Where do you live, right? Where do you live? Let's go and analyze these sentences right here. In sentence number one, ¿de quién estamos hablando? My brother. My brother. What is important about my brother? ¿Qué estamos diciendo de nuestro hermano? My brother. TV program. Okay, we are talking watch, about. Uh -huh. Watch. An action is watch. Exactly. The action is watch, right? My brother watches his favorite TV program. When? Now. Every night. Every evening. Every evening. Every evening, right? Every evening. My brother watches his favorite TV program every evening. Where do I live in number two? Where do I live? In a small, in a small apartment. apartment. In a small apartment. In a small apartment. Ajá. Where? Near the college. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta para la oración tres? ¿Qué pregunta tendríamos que hacer para obtener esa respuesta? How many, How many languages? Do you How speak language? Mm. How many Does. languages? That's you speak. Speak. That's she. Ajá, yeah, pero si te están preguntando a ti, por ejemplo. How many do languages speak? do you speak? Do you speak? How many languages do you speak? And in that case, if the question is for her, si la pregunta es para ella, how many languages does, does she, she speak? Speak. Good. How many languages does she speak? Eh, ¿Cuál sería la pregunta para la cuatro? analyze my friend has a sister but he doesn't have a brother mm -hmm. Aquí llevándolos en los retos al otro nivel, niña. does How your friend has a brother does your friend have does your friend have a brother, a brother. It can be a good question, right? My friend has a sister, but she doesn't have a brother. Good question, Aleida. Very good job. What is the answer for question number five? You have the question. Is your father a teacher or a policeman? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Invented, right? If you don't have a teacher or a policeman in the family. No one. He is a doctor. <laughs> Uh -huh. it, that's a good thing. You say no one. So you say none of them. Uh -huh. None of them. Ninguna de esas. None hey, of them. Uh, no um. one is ninguno. Ninguno de gente. Right? You say no, none of them. Ninguna ninguno de, de ellos. Ninguna de esas, de las opciones que estás dando. Uh -huh. Ninguna de esas dos. Right? When you say none yeah. of them. No, ni uno ni el otro. Okay. In good Spanish, you say, ni una, we say in Spanish, <laughs> ni una de esas. I don't know why, but we, we just kill the language. I don't know why. Nosotros somos expertos en matar el idioma. Ni uno, ni uno de esos. No, you say, none of them, right? Ah, ni, none of them, ni uno. Yeah, quizás de ahí lo agarraron. Suena como, ni uno, <laughs> none of them. 
So none of them. So is, it, is your father a teacher or a policeman? Say so none of them. My father is an agronomist, right? My wife and I are from Canada. Where are you from, people? What is the answer? Where are you from? Uh -huh. My, I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. That's the answer. My wife and I am for, are from Canada. Where are you from? If you want to be specific, you say, I am from El Salvador, from San Salvador specifically, right? Okay, I am from El Salvador, from Santa Ana specifically. My sister's name is Susan. She is a doctor. What is the question for number seven? What would be the question for number seven? ¿Qué pregunta tendríamos que hacer para obtener la respuesta siete? My sister's name is Susan. What is the name of your sister? Specifically, ¿cuál es otra, otra manera de hacer esa pregunta? What is the name of your sister? Es como bien de español. What is the English form of the question? What is the sister's name? What is, what your, is, your, sis what is your sister's name? Very good. What is your sister's name? What is your sister's name? And what If, does your sister do? Do. Very good. What does your sister do? ¿Qué es lo que hace? What is the name of your sister? It's good. It's a good question and it is logical. But the best version of this is like, what is your sister's name? Ah, my sister's name is Susan. What does your sister do? She is a doctor, right? She is a doctor. And what about number Eight. I live in Rio de Janeiro. What is the question for that answer? I live in Rio de Janeiro. Salvador. Ajá. Ahí la tienen, es la siguiente parte. Where do you live? Where do you live, right? Where do you live? I live in El Salvador, you say. Specifically, in San Salvador. Exactly, <laughs> near Cinco de Noviembre, right? So you say, where do you live? Where do you live? It, it is a very common thing for English speakers. Where do you live? In a house. Siempre como la respuesta así como cuac. Where do you live? In a house. No, abajo de un puente. I really, in San Salvador, right? In San Salvador. Good. So, I am going to go in the next section. We have other eight questions. But this one, you are going to answer them with your classmate, okay? Van a trabajar en parejas. Y lo vamos a contestar. But what is the extra of this one? For number nine, ten... 11 and 12, uh, 13 and 14, I need you to write the questions for those answers, okay? Lo vamos a contestar, vamos a contestar el ejercicio, pero de la 9 a la 14 vamos a escribir las preguntas que tendríamos que hacer para obtener estas respuestas. Exactly as what we did, okay? You are going to do that in couples. You are going to do that in couples. And you are going to do exactly what I did with you. Okay. So uh, from for number 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, you are going to write the questions. Okay. Ese va a ser el extra que van a crear. Las preguntas que tendrían que hacer para obtener esas respuestas. Okay. So I have here the couples in for sure. I am going to move some of you to the other rooms because I have one speaker, one listener, okay? There you go. Go to your rooms 
I am going to send the picture of the questions right now on the chat. Okay, go to your rooms. And here I go. Okay, Blanquita, no le llegó la invitación para el grupo. Ajá. Fact es de hecho, I have, yo tengo, um, yo tengo mucho tiempo libre. Mucho tiempo libre. Ajá. Entonces sería, I am, I am not. I am not. I am not. Y la, hacemos primero la, la respuesta o vamos haciendo la pregunta de, de una vez. Ah, hay que hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí. Dijo que toda, o solo hasta la 14. Hasta la 14, o sea, de la 9 a la 14. Sí, pues si querés, hagamos la pregunta entonces. Ok, I have. Mm. Yes. Ok. Okay, I write it. Okay, I came to the organized group. That's very nice. Punto. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I need to look for it. Teachers, they are pronounced is... Punto. <laughs> Punto para ti. Aquí. The pronoun what? 
It's a great teacher, you. Yeah. <ríe> yeah. Si hubiéramos estado en clase, se lo pongo con el marker en la mano. <ríe> No ah. creo. <risa> eh, the pronouns of is busy. Busy, yeah. Don't okay. say busy, okay? <risa> yes. It's a very okay. common thing. It's a yeah. um, very busy person. Very busy person. Okay, thank you. But analyze thank you. the question. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. I will go to check number three. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Okay. okay. Hello. Hey, Hello. you. You are. You are very lucky. You are always together. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we are very lucky. That 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 is something nice because I mean, and I do them aleatory, and you are always together. That is so nice. <laughs> yes, and it's very nice for me. Yeah, I know. I know you have a good partner. You both are very good, so it is very nice. <laughs> Continue Thank working. Then. Continue. Uh, thanks. What do you do? Let's do you. Ahí le falta la E. Yo. Yo, yo. Hello. <laughs> What do you do to stay strong and healthy? Strong uh, and healthy. Healthy. Healthy, yes. Okay. Get up. Get up. Get up. Early, early, early. No more. Um. Uh -huh. What would be the question for number three? What do you usually get up, or what are you usually get up? Mm, not really. What? What? Le faltaría algo a esa pregunta. What? ¿Qué está buscando? ¿Qué está buscando? You st you are looking for time, right? So you say what? Do you usually get up in the morning? Ajá, pero ¿qué, ¿qué andamos buscando? What time? What time? What time do you usually get up? Ah, Say, so, I usually get up. What time do you... You have different options there. It can be... It can be, for example, you say, what time What time do you usually... No, no. What time do you get up in the morning? What time do you get up in the morning? Or... Do you say, do you get up early in the mornings? Right? You have, that's another option. And, or you can say, how often do you get up early in the morning? Right? What time okay. do you get up in the morning? That's the first question. The first option. The question. La segunda opción para esa misma pregunta sería, eh, how often do you get up early? ¿Qué tan seguido te levantas temprano? It's like, no, I usually get up early. How often, how often do you get up early? Early. Yeah, just like that and the question mark. So you have two options there. Thank you. Okay, continue working. I will go with the next ones. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello, teacher. Questions? Vine al, a, la, a la buena hora, vine. Uh, yes, we are, uh, we are making yeah, the questions. The questions. What is the question for number 11? Uh, in that we are uh, making. <laughs> 
So uh, I was uh, say uh, telling to uh -huh. Carlos, it, it could be uh, if do you get up? How do you or do you get up often? Something like that. Do you get up often? Often, no. because we. Uh, I I I think. I, I'm asking uh, about a, a frequency. How often do, do you uh -huh. do you get up? How often do you get up? What? In the morning. Uh -huh. Pero early or, or late? Early. How early. often do you get up? Early. early. Uh, so you say no. I usually get up very early in the morning. Okay. okay. Or you say, um, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? Es una pregunta más sencilla todavía. I usually get up very early in the morning. What time do you get up? ¿A qué horas te levantas? I usually get up very early in the morning. So you have two forms of question. Okay. okay, continue then. I will go and help the next group. Okay. You have, do you have lots of trip time? Digo yo. Do you have? Tienes tiempo de trabajar. Do you have? Hello. Hello. I am a very busy, I am not a very busy person. What would be the question for that? I, I, do, you, do you have? Do you have? Pero uh -huh. ahí si llevara do you have, no sería la respuesta. I do. I do not. Uh -huh. Ya no tendría que... There, it's a duda. simple, a simple yes, no question. Uh -huh. No hubiéramos elegido la, la A para que funcione el do you have. No, porque no puedes decir I do not a. Ah. No, correcto. Primera no, the, the answer is correct. I am not a very busy person. In fact, I have lots of free time. Mm -hmm. En efecto, tengo un montón de tiempo libre. So, mm -hmm. so you say I am not a very busy person. So, what will be the question? Para que yo te diga, I am not a very busy person. Mm. ¿Qué me tendría que preguntar? Um, are you? Oh, okay. I see. Are you? Are you what? Are you what? Uh, free time? <clears throat> no. No, no. Uh, are you? Y ahí tienen la pregunta. O sea, en la, en la primera oración está la misma pregunta. Solo la van a transformar en pregunta. <laughs> Dice, I am not a very busy person. La, la pregunta sería, are you a busy person? Ok, sí, ah, ok, ok. Are you, are you a busy person? Are you a... Ajá, es una pregunta, es una pregunta retórica, sí, sí o no. Are you a... Are you a busy person? Are you a busy person? And a question mark. Uh -huh, and a question mark. And he said, like, I am mm. not a very busy person. Okay. In fact, I have lots of free time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I very see. good. No, I don't know. No, okay. I, I dejela, I dejela. Are you a busy <laughs> person? It's okay. We swim, jog, and play sports to stay strong and healthy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> to stay strong and para mantenernos fuertes y saludables. Eh, sería como, ¿qué haces para mantenerte saludable? Ajá, uh -huh. what is the question in English? Uh -huh. ¿Qué haces? Do you... Ah, no. Ah, no, quiero ver. Do you... Eh, quiero ver. No sería what. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. Pon, póngalo, ponelo. <ríe> Ay, qué mal quería. What... What do you do? What do you do? Correct. What do you do? Uh, strong and hairy, hairy. What do you do? Y el verbo, ¿cuál sería? Uh, stay. To stay. To stay. 
to strong. stay. Uh -huh. stay strong and health, health, healthy. 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 Sí, healthy. Yes. Healthy. Saludable. Healthy. healthy. Okay. What do you uh, What do you do to stay strong and healthy? Very good. That's the question. Healthy. Okay. Okay. Very good. And what about the next one? I usually get up very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> what, do, uh, what do you what, what do you get up? <laughs> what do you or oh, what? Uh huh, Eric. What do you do? ¿Qué piensa Eric? ¿Qué dice Eric? What? Uh, Andamos buscando qué? Tiempo. Drama. What? Ah, uh, what time? Uh -huh. you what time uh -huh. do you get up? Very good. Uh -huh. What time do you get up? What time? ¿Qué tiempo? Ay. What time do you get up? ¿A qué horas? Ya se te levanta. Ah, I usually get up very early in the morning. Bien temprano. ¿Sí? You see? Continue. Aquí llevando a, a otro mm -hmm. nivel de retos, ni. That's very good. <laughs> I like Thank it. You. I like it. Continue, continue. Did you finish? Yeah, teacher. With the questions as well? Uh, the last the last question, I don't uh, secure. I am not sure, you say. I am I'm not, not sure. sure. I am not sure about not the sure. question. Uh, what does your mother do? Uh-huh. I will share my screen. Okay, please. In the last question, uh, we we ask, uh, uh -huh. what does your mother do? In the uh, ah, my... in number fifteen, number sixteen. Ah, you you did the last one. My mother teaches English at a English high school. school. High school. What does your mother do? That's a good question. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, and that's good. What do you usually do on where? Uh, where do you usually go on holiday? That's that, I didn't ask for that one because it's already made, right? Okay. Okay, sorry. So it's good, it's correct. Okay, what about number nine? What is the question for number nine? Yes, can you do you want to um, este, ask the question? What is question number nine? Uh, hi there, hi there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number nine, uh, are you a very good person? Very good. Number 10. Number 10, uh, what do you do to stay strong and healthy? Very good. Number 11. Uh, are you get up very early in the mornings? Okay. Do you get up very early in the mornings? That's good. Or what time do you get up? That's another question. That's good. Number 12. What is your classmate right now? Where is your classmate right now? Okay, very good. Number 13. How many hours do you work a day? How many hours do you work a day? And number 14. How do you focus it today? Number 14 is? How do you focus it today? Are your friends busy? Busy today. 
My friends are busy because they... My friends... No, in this case, you say my friends aren't busy because they are on holiday. Good. And what does your mother do? Okay, so I am going to give you a couple of minutes for the rest of the groups. I am going to call you back in a minute, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, See good. you soon. See you in a moment. Okay, I will go to number one. There you go. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. let's go out yes, then. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, welcome back. Welcome everybody. Okay, welcome, welcome. The session is being recorded, yes. Okay, so welcome back. It was nice to see you working. I really like this type of exercises because it makes you think differently. It's not only A, B, C, D, E, y estuvo, right? It is good because you create more and more uh, vocabulary. So number nine, what is the answer for number nine people? I Do not, not, or I am not. I am not. I am not, I am not a very, busy, a very person. busy person. In fact, I have lots of free time. What is the question for number nine? Are you a busy person? Are you a busy person? I am not a very busy person. In fact, I have lots of free time. I don't, right? But maybe someone is. <laughs> I, I don't have free time. <laughs> it's so sad. N sad and, and nice, but yeah, it's cool. Number 10. What is the answer for number 10? We. Anybody. We. Like, like to or likes? We like, like to. to. We, we like, like to. to, very good. We like to swim, jog, and play sports. What is the meaning of jog? Trotar. Exactly like that, right? To jog, right? To go like, okay? We like to swim, jog, and play sports to stay strong and healthy. What is the question for number 10? What do you do to stay strong and healthy? What do you do to stay strong and healthy? Very good. Number 11, what is the answer for number 11? I usually... Get up. Get up, Very right? early. Mm -hmm. In the mornings. What In is the, the question for number 11? What is the question for this sentence? How often do you get up early in the morning? How often do you get up early in the mornings? Very good job. Another form of question. How often do you get up early in the mornings? Another form of question. What time do you get up in the morning? What time do you get up in the morning? Another form of question. Okay. Alguna diferente que tengan? It's okay. Say, say, how often do you get up early? What time do you get up in the morning? Right? It's another form of this one. Number 12, what is the answer? For number 11, you can also say, do you usually get up 
very early in the morning? Mm -hmm. He said like, yes, I usually get up very early in the morning. Number 12, my classmate. Doesn't. Leader C. Mm, it cannot be doesn't. My classmate doesn't in class right now. No, say my classmate isn't, isn't. in class right now. Porque aquí tienen abajo. She is in the library. Aquí tenemos el verbo to be otra vez. Okay. Okay. My sister, my sister, <laughs> my classmate isn't <laughs> in class right now. She is in the library. And the question, what is the question of this? Is your classmate in class right now? Very good. Is your classmate in class right now? Another form of question. Where is your classmate? Where is your classmate? Ah, my, my classmate isn't in class right now. She's in the library. Number 13. What is the answer for number 13? I work 12 hours a day, but I... Love my job. I love my job. I love my job. What is the question for number 13? Uh-huh. Um, how many hours do you work per day? How many hours do you work per day? Very good. I work 12 hours. Number 14. My friends. Plural. Are in busy because they are on holiday. My friends aren't busy because they are on holiday. Isn't and don't is for singular forms, right? The only option is aren't. What is the question for this one? Are your friends busy today? Are your friends busy today? Okay. El bono, number 16. Ah, sorry, number 15. What is the answer? Do you where? usually, where, right? Where do you mm. usually go on holiday? I usually go to Greece, right? Yeah, I usually go to Termo del Rio, <laughs> to Greece. Right? And the last one, my mother. Teaches. Teaches. English. Because it's school. third person, right? My mother mm -hmm. teaches English at, at a high school. What is the question for number 16? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta para la 16? Mr. Rafael, let me see. Sí, Rafael la tenía. Rafael uh, Alexander. What, what does your mother do? What does your mother do? Very good job. What does your mother do? My mother teaches English at a high school. Very good job, my dear classmate. Very good job. Reactions for you and your partner. Very good job. Agradezcale a su compañero, por favor, el haber trabajado con usted ahí. No sé quién era su compañero, dígale ahí en el micrófono. Gracias, Fulanito, gracias, Sutanito. No sé con quién Thank trabajó. Thank you so much, Alanilson. It is a pleasure to work with you. Very good. So thank, thank you, you thank your you, classmate. Linda. You see, lo mejor que puede compartir con alguien es su tiempo. That's the most important thing. The final exercise for simple present. In a very quick way, choose a verb for the answers. So you say, John eats breakfast at six o'clock in the morning. For this one, I often books in my free time. ¿Qué verbo le pondrían? Read. 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 You like to study English? Yes, I do. Do. Do you? Very good. My father always songs in the shower. Sings. 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 Very good. Number five. Does Julie work on Saturdays? No, she. No, she doesn't. Um, she does. She doesn't. No, no, she don't. She don't. She doesn't. <laughs> doesn't. What about the next one? Would you like to to Hawaii? Travel. Very good. Would you like to travel? Very good. What about the next one? I live close to my company, so I can. Walk to work. Walk to work. Very good. Number eight. Mr. Smith always drinks. 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 Very good. Drinks tea in the afternoon. Más en El Salvador con estos fríos que hacen. 
<laughs> In the afternoon, very hot. My classmate, his favorite TV show. Watches. Watches. No, watch. Yeah, no, my friend. They say my watches. classmate watches. watches. That's cor that's correct. Watches. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I don't have I time. I don't have time to talk to, talk to, you, to now. you now. Ooh, it's like podemos hablar. Friendson. Friendson. <laughs> Mira, es que quería hablar con. I don't have time to talk to you right now. Sorry. Yeah. No, lo fregado no es estar en la friend zone. Lo fregado es caer en la family zone. <laughs> Eres como mi hermano. Yeah. You, will, you will never go out of there. <laughs> Te quiero Sad. como mi hermana. You will never go out of there. Parentes. Yo no, le dice el otro. <laughs> yo no, yo sí. <laughs> Eres muy lindo por dentro. <laughs> Eres una linda persona. Oh, that's so sad. Imagine, oh my God. Oh, oh, we all have been there. Oh my God. Momentos. La hora. Momentos. La hora sad. Ya está ahora. Ya, ya salen las verdades. Ya. Ok. Siempre. Ellos se lo pierden. The next one. Number 12. Number 11. Your cousin have a job. Yes, does. She does. 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 does your cousin have a job? Very good. And the last one, I don't have a pen. No. Could I uh, please borrow you? I don't you? have. Oh. I don't I have. have because it was the example. Very good job. You see, now you are not confusing any type of verb. That is so nice. It is a simple topic, but in some cases it is good to stop and review a little bit because in that case, you don't confuse things, right? You don't confuse anything about simple present. That you say like, I teacher es que ya vimos el simple present, que no sé qué. She don't, okay? In the book, I have these little simple exercises, but I said, no, I need something extra, I mean, for my students, right? This one were the examples that you had in the platform, Jeff works right works. works from six to four jane and pete clean, clean. the tables clean. every day mark take orders what is doesn't the doesn't take doesn't take right doesn't take orders on wednesdays our restaurant opens opens right you need the s here from nine to ten our bus Spends. Spends much Spends. time in the restaurant. We don't close. We don't close, right? We do not mm. close on Sundays. We don't close on Sundays. They expect. They expect to have more clients this week, right? What about this ones? This is like one of the last exercises we are going to do. Pick up always tables. I. How would you complete the sentence? Always. Uh huh. I always, I always pick up tables. I always pick up tables, right? I always pick up tables. What about this one? Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait. No, yo no fui, yo no fui hecha para escribir con el mouse, ya vi. Sorry, the fire. What about the next one? You say she. I can see. She. She seldom. She seldom change. 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 She. Very good. She seldom changes because it's she. The menu. Period. She seldom changes the menu. He. He rarely. He rarely. He rarely. Hires. Hires. He, hires. Okay, so you say he rarely hires new employees. Employees. Okay, he rarely hires new employees. 
What about the next ones? It says, sometimes close early. We. We sometimes, we sometimes close early. early. We sometimes close early. Close. early. That's the best part of the week, right? We sometimes close early. Give away hardly ever promotional items. They. They. The company. Ah, the company. Okay, let's say the company. The company. Hardly ever. ever. Hardly ever. Gives away. Gives away. away. Promotional, gives promotional away. items. Promotional items. items, right? And the last one, close never on Mondays. Never close. The yes. office. No, uh, no, yeah. let's say the boss. <laughs> the boss. <laughs> la culpa al jefe. Never the close. The boss never, never, never closes on Mondays. Mondays. <laughs> The boss never. ¿Cómo puedo did... decir tristemente? Sadly. Sa sadly. Sí. Sadly. Sadly. Las terminaciones LI, más que todo, son mente. Yes. Say sadly, beautifully. Ok. Beautifully is like bellamente. Sadly. Thank you. Angrily, you say. Enojadamente. Or molesto. De una manera enojada. So. That was our unit number two. And I am going to call the attendance people. Tomorrow we are going to start unit number three. In unit number three, we are going to talk a lot about human resources activities, right? Activities that people do in the Department of Human Resources. A lot of vocabulary about human resources will be included in unit number three. And the base grammar for this one, we're going to have a little bit of present continuous ING forms, right? And uh, that's basically what we're going to be developing in this unit. Okay, so it is going to be a nice unit full of vocabulary. It's going to be full of vocabulary and a uh, I need you uh, to start like kind of checking it up because you are going to uh, start working on this tomorrow. Okay. I am going to call the attendance, my dear students. Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Okay. Let me see. Attendance. Here we go. Aleida? Here, teacher. Andrea Sofia? Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra? Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo? Present teacher. Cesar? Cesar is having issues with the audio. Ellen Nielsen? Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Jose? Present teacher. Thank you. Hernán Antonio. Presente, teacher. Horacio José. Present, teacher. José Luis. Present, teacher. Juan Francisco. Carla Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nelson. Paola. I'm here. Thank you. Paola. Present, teacher. Rafael Alexander. Present, teacher. Rafael Antonio, Raúl Ernesto, Wilber Alberto, Present. Jasmine Elizabeth, and Magdiel Esau. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, so remember, tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to be working on unit number three. Please, for all the ones who haven't finished section two, I need you to complete that for uh, tomorrow morning or tomorrow during the day, okay? Para los que todavía le falta completar la sección dos, ya hicimos todos los ejercicios, ya vieron que no están nada complicados, así que, eh, please, necesito que esté completada para que yo pueda pasar esas notas ya a su cuadro eh, de, 
de notas para que ustedes ahí tengan su 100% en la sección 1, la sección 2 y en el midterm. ¿Ok? Ok, perdón, tenía la gran anunciadora gritando aquí. <ríe> yeah. eh, so, please work on that for, uh, for me to have the grades. And uh, tomorrow we are starting unit number three about human resources processes. Today I am going to stay with Jose Luis for the one-on-one -on -one, and that will be it for today. Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I will see you tomorrow for the next class. Thank you. Bye. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Have a very Bye. good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow, Bye. my dear students. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrito. Bye, Juan Francisco. Have a beautiful night. Thank you. Se nos queda siempre aquí. Vamos a pasarlo a la sala de espera. Okay, Jose Luis. Welcome to your one on one. Ah, it's a pleasure to have you here. Ok, José Luis, casi siempre este es un espacio para, para usted y para mí, para que yo pueda conocerlo un poquito mejor y que pueda conocer sus necesidades acerca de la clase, qué le ha parecido, cómo se ha sentido, si tiene alguna duda, algún comentario, pues este es el, el momento que aprovechamos pues, para, para hacer estos, este compartir y también eh, si puedo yo apoyarle de alguna manera en algo que usted necesite acerca del idioma, pues con gusto también aprovecho para para hacerlo en esta sección de uno a uno. Ok, José Luis. How have you feel in class? What do you think about the class? ¿Cómo se ha sentido? Well, really, really good because it's very dynamic and interesting topics. Ok. And it's not a normal class when you learn grammar and that's it. Ok, ya. Yeah. Yo siempre les digo que a mí me gusta, yeah. ajá, a mí me gusta dar la clase como a mí me gustaría recibirla. Because it's like, it's very boring in some cases just to be like, anote la grama, haga una oración, lea. Mm -hmm. And that's it, right? And you don't produce more than, 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 than expected. So yeah. that, that's why I really like that challenge. About the English language, Jose Luis, what is the most difficult part for you? Because I understand, but it's really hard for me to express the idea. Okay, but you have been, you have been participating a lot. Yes. <laughs> And that, that is good because I, I feel that if you are participating is because you feel confident. Uh, I mean, because and, I, uh -huh. I'm here because I, I, I have, a, how do I can say, I had classes before uh -huh. in an academy, in English for call center. Uh -huh. And yes, but I forgot it because <laughs> it wasn't. 2016, maybe. Oh, yes. Yeah. The English language, the, yeah. The English language has like a, a, a duration of six months. And if you don't practice in six months, then you just forget it, right? Como toda cosa en este mundo, el inglés también tiene vencimiento. Eh, y yo siempre les digo que si ya pasaron seis meses consecutivos de que usted no ha estudiado nada, you just forget it, right? It happened to me. I studied French for many years, for three or four years, I remember. And as I don't practice, I don't remember anything. I just remember the basic, right? The basic conversational surviving, I know, but the rest, yes. nothing. My case in English, I can understand, but I, I have the fear to talk. You are afraid to <laughs> talk. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, and that's the main thing for English for call centers, right? To make you speak. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yes. we can. We vamos a poner tacha ahí, fallar. <laughs> okay, so to speak, right? So, uh, uh, okay, in in this unit, uh, starting tomorrow, uh, I, you are going to see. Le voy a dar aquí como el preview de lo que va a pasar. Mañana le voy a dar un tema chiquitito, y mañana empezamos ya con la práctica de speaking on the WhatsApp group. Okay. Eh, es que todos los días tenemos como un tema distinto that you have to speak for a minute about a topic 
and that pushes and you. Huh? We are sending, we, are, we will sending audios. Yes, we are going to start sending audios on WhatsApp. That is a very good practice. Believe me yes. that it is a very good practice because you have the chance to listen to other people and also to actually talk about something, right? For example, imagine if I tell you, uh, just to invent something, uh, what do you prefer, cats or dogs? Is it like, no, I think dogs are better because they are very loyal and they are very nice. In fact, I have a dog and this is this and its name is Pulgos and blah, blah, blah. And then you can start like talking about the topic, right? And all of a sudden, when you realize it's like, and, and that's it, right? And it is yeah. a very good practice. I always recommend, for example, if you have the chance to actually record yourself on the computer, at the end, of the day, you can record like today was a very difficult day. I did this and this and this and this, and this was my favorite part. I didn't like this or that. For you to create like this a uh, habit of speaking. Or also, if you have a friend that speaks English, do the time for you to speak with this person. And there is also, I, I always recommend this in many of the cases you have time to do it. I sent you the name of it on the chat. And it is a place where you can go and speak with different people from around the world. You just enter to these little chat rooms and you just choose one, right? Beginners, intermediate, advanced. And then you go and talk with people. And you talk about anything because, yeah, there are people who are speaking, who are learning to speak different languages and you can go there and you can actually uh, enter and talk with them. It is pretty curious. I, I really like it. I sometimes enter just for fun and I go and I talk to people just, just for fun. Right. And they say, but you don't need to practice your English. It's like, no, but yeah, I mean, I, you always need to practice because so you, uh, you always learn something new. You always learn something new. <laughs> Today in the morning, I entered to a basic group and they said, but you are not basic. Your English is very good. And I said like, yeah, but I, I, I wanted to practice with you. And, and I was there just talking. That's a very cool site that you can also use. It, you can take like a minute or, or two every day for you to go and talk to, to native people of the language. Okay. So it, it works. Yeah, it will be good. And also... Well, watching a lot of tutorials on, on, on YouTube about your job, right? For example, all the things that are related to your job in English. Uh, in YouTube, there are many videos about conversations, about articles, or if you like series, you can watch series. That can help you a lot to get vocabulary and improve your, your exactly. speaking and your pronunciation. But the real practice will always be will always be the best. So I will recommend you to go to the chat room every day. And the activities that I am going to be doing during the week are going to be very helpful for you. Okay. Any other part of the language that you consider, Jose Luis, that are that it's difficult for you? Listening, maybe writing. Writing? When and how do you practice? Ah, because the, okay, I you don't you don't practice right that's why okay so i am uh-huh i have the sentence but <laughs> it is complicated to write yeah. well as i recommended you with the with the audios at the end of the day i can recommend you the same in written right Puede sonar así como que, ay, qué infantil, teacher, que va a llevar un diario. Not, yeah. like a, not like a diary, but something like for you to, to write a couple of things about every day. Y también que le ayuda como a sacarlo de la mente y a descansar el cerebro. So you say, today was a hard day, I did this and this and this. O puedes Maybe escribir a... Ajá. Or, <laughs> ajá, <laughs> good. <laughs> you are going to end up with a big... <laughs> Yeah, ¿Cómo se llama? Haciendo un editorial ahí, publicando ahí la vida de José Luis. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, so, but that, that helps a lot. It helps a lot yes. to write. 
uh, about your day. I mean, you can start writing about your day, a couple of sentences and then paragraphs and then a whole story and then a book. <laughs> <laughs> okay so that that can help you a lot Jose Luis and in any case if I can help you with anything else that you tell me like teacher I need material for this do you have something just let me know okay yeah. so Jose Luis uh, I really appreciate these minutes that we shared together ya ven siempre el one on one creen que va a ser super larguísimo y se nos va así como volando <laughs> have a beautiful night thank you for sharing your time with me and I'm going to see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Rest a lot.